I'm sure you can hear this in the background. This fucking ice cream man has been here for like 15 minutes. channel welcome back to Tyler taught me today you already guessed it we finally got it in the mail it's been weeks but she's here the man in the box intake for the 2022 Grom we've already got our Chimera on here it's been performing as expected it works um, definitely got a lot of power gains from the cam we put in there check out that video uh, it's a DHM Yoshi and uh, reflash video I did um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy on. We're going to compare him hardcore and just see what we got. Here's some footage of uh, the performance with the Chimera to compare. Start off with a bracket we're pulling out of here. Was this the air filter? And we got stickers. There you have it, guys. It's the mythical silicon adapter tube. In all its glory. An extension. I wonder if theirs is any better than Chimera's. A little baby breather filter. What do we got? Man in the box stickers, and we got stickers. Intake stickers. That's pretty much it. I don't think there's any directions, but we'll find out right now and let you know. Just for you guys. Actually, for me too. That's what you're dealing with online. So here's everything the kit comes with. Got your air filter, your mounting bracket, your uh, piece of silicone that took forever, hose clamp for uh, the air filter onto the bracket, and then a hose clamp for each end of the adapter or the uh, hose. You've got your um, air filter here, your little guy. It's gonna go with this. Got your zip tie and a um, metal clamp, hose clamp, and then you've got these bolts. So these bolts, this bigger guy is gonna be the one that's mounting your bracket to the actual bike. There's two little ones. Those are gonna be mounting the um, sensor 
you can see is right there on the Chimera. And then you've got this guy with a nut and a plastic black washer that you're gonna be mounting this to the bracket with. And then last but not least, you've got your uh, harness extension, cable extension. I'm gonna make this easy on myself and take the cover off. Bringing you closer, I'll shine a light. There's an already mounted hole right there and that's where your uh, extra screw is going to go to help mount this. Super simple. We're going to nab our little sensor off of there. The little red and black one from Chimera, switch them out. And the only other thing we're going to have to do is our little air uh, hose. Just in case you guys are curious about fitting it, that's how it does and it'll sit snug right up in here. So, there you go. Watch me do it. Well, just like before, both connections came out. I don't need really pulling too hard. Oh, come on. There it goes. All right, first part of the comparison here. These are our wires. Chimera. Man in the box. Man in the box definitely looks a little bit more quality. And it does have a little heat shield wrap on it. This just came two wires, and they love popping out of this end. You look at the comparable end over here it's the same construction it's going to be because they're both the same kind of wire but i don't know seems a little bit better quality on to actually comparing them looks wise we already see the clear winner this guy looks mean looks pretty cool this guy looks nice and sleek too but this is going to tuck up in there nicely and not be sticking out of the side which is what i was going for and i think it's going to be the best bet but just to see here. Another big difference. That's metal coated. This is rubber. Also, your sensors are inside with uh, the Chimera. Your sensors just sensing outside air uh, for this guy. For the man in the box. Not too too much difference. I mean, their intakes they can only be so much different. I don't think you'll go wrong with either. For a $10 difference, you might want to go with the man in the box. Uh, if you're trying to save a couple bucks, maybe go with this guy. They're so close in price, it's kind of a toss up. So, I mean, clearly man in the box looks a little sleeker, but who's to say? You like what you like. If you like that side mount profile where it's coming out of the side like it was, uh, I'd go with this guy, the Chimera. But if you went nice and tucked up in there, which was my goal originally, uh, I'd go with man in the box. But we still got to test performance just to see how the bike drives differently, uh, how it how it handles differently. So let's get this thing installed. One other thing I got to add: this stock, uh, these are the stock intake hose or the uh, air hose. This one gives you a brand new one. It's longer, a little bit better quality, maybe. I don't know. This has the heat shield on it. I might just transfer that over. But there you go. It's just one other thing. All right, now that it's mounted, this is, I got this lower. I'm gonna pop this off just so I can oil it real quick. We got everything lined up how we want. We can go ahead and tighten down the back one, all that kind of stuff. But actually, we're gonna put our sensor in first. It comes with two bolts to do this. I'm probably going to actually put my own hose clamp on the back of this, because this little zip tie doesn't seem to be cutting it. 
so I'm gonna put my own right here. This is gonna snake down to back here. I had to take the side cover off to get to it. That's the inlet it's going on. We're gonna have a nice uh, hose clamp for that too. So you're gonna need a three, a four, and a five sized uh, Allen for this entire setup. That's gonna need a screwdriver and an eight millimeter. You can put this one before, but I wanted to show you guys the difference and whatever, so I'm just doing it after. Ain't that hard. All right, all good in here. We just gotta pop this on. We're doing about to throw some uh, oil in the filter real quick. Everything's been tightened down. This guy was a pain in the butt. And this is the biggest pain in the butt, trying to get one of those guys up in here on that. Let's see if I can even show you on that guy. Pain in the ass, but it's done. We're gonna make this super simple, simple as I can. Take this, take our bar and chain. Might need a funnel. Now we're just gonna run this down. the very bottom here in a second just using the tips of these to brush it in can I switch hands with this glove that would be cool not quite oh I can want something sticky sticky oil they recommend using clearly it's the right oil, but we don't have the right oil at the moment, so we're gonna make do. Half-ass way to do it, but better than nothing, so I can get a little ride in here. Back that off a couple. We're on there. That's everything. We're plugged in, got all that ready. Let's turn the key real quick, make sure that works. All right, make sure we don't have a check engine or anything like that because of that stupid sensor. Nope, we're good. Make sure it starts. There you have it. Sounds better like it's breathing better. So as you could see, we didn't hit, hit our uh, 75 mile per hour top speed that we got uh, in the last video when we had just put on our um, Chimera 
and had just put in the DHM and uh, done the flash. So what I'm going to do is change the oil just to see if that helps. We are at 400 and something miles and I've been riding it semi hard, not terribly hard, but um, with these kind of bikes, I just kind of ride them. I don't worry about a break-in period, but so much. It's just a little 125 cc. Um, it's like a dirt bike almost. But anyway, gonna change the oil, change the filter in this little guy real quick. Just show you guys how to do it. Why not? It's a short video anyway. Um, and we'll see uh, if that helps at all. When I'm doing oil in these, um, I always use this Valvoline uh, four-stroke 10W40 SAE regular old motor oil. You don't want to put synthetic in these. Um, I also put this in all my China motors. What else? China motors, uh, four wheelers, uh, the mini Jeep, uh, any of the big block um, GX series motors, all the motors I have that are four stroke, I use this stuff. Um, hasn't seen me wrong, works really well, and you can get it for like 530, 540 when it's on sale. Um, they don't sell this in the big jugs, so I always try to find it on sale. This time Napa had it on sale, sometimes Advance has it on sale. Walmart has it on for five something all the time, but they don't usually have it on the shelf. Um, but yeah, this is what I use. This is what I'm gonna stick to. Uh, it hasn't steered me wrong. There's the filter. It's the parts number. 15412-MGS-D21. This guy's an eight. Always try to wiggle it out. Yep, with your finger. Look how dirty that is. Wow. Gross.
back in the garage for the conclusion. But first, I want to say uh, a word of advice would be get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing. Definitely get rid of this thing. And you'll probably want to get rid of this thing too. So, I've gotten rid of all of those. Much cleaner look. Much better performance. Uh, watch one of my earlier videos, you'll see, I think the top speed was like 60 miles per hour when I got this thing. And now we're up to like 74, 75. Um, solid. That being said, for Chimera versus Man in the Box, um, I'm going to go with Man in the Box. I like it better due to looks and sleekness. It's tucked away. Um, and the quality is slightly better, but only for certain things. So, to start, um, like I said, tucked away, looks sleek. That was the look I was going for from day one. So, um, when they took forever, I had to get something to, to get riding. Um, if you like this look of the showing um, intake, that's cool too. It looked cool, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think this list looks cleaner, especially with the uh, Fender Eliminator. Um, looks wise, Tremere loses. Going from that, quality like I said. Um, the man in the box is made out of rubber. The tube is, the intake tube. And the Chimera is made out of metal and it's coated. So do what you want with that. Some think the harder material is better. Some think the... Um, rubber intakes better i don't think it really matters as you can see from the um, speeds this is the death of chimera set up here this cable likes to just pop out doesn't sit in the housing well everyone's noticed this at this point so if you haven't bought a grom yet you probably don't know about it quite yet but uh chimera's extension isn't isn't the best it does work if you finagle it and get it uh housed correctly but other than that go with man in the box um anything you do a reset for it'll give you the check engine light and it's because that cable is not connected so it'll start it'll run but you still get this code thrown so um fix that make sure that's seated if you're getting that error um with the man in the box you didn't have that problem it popped right in as you saw in the video air filter wise i think the man in the box filter is a little nicer um it definitely tucks up in here way better it looks way cleaner in my opinion if you like the Chimera sticking out, like I said earlier, go with that. It looks cool. It is what it is. I just would rather have it tucked. Um, the Chimera sounds like it's sucking air a lot harder. You can hear it almost whistle in uh, some of the video. Um, if you look at the previous videos I did, you'll hear it whistling. Uh, like it's sucking air really hard, um, very audible. Uh, with this, you can still hear it. I just don't think it's as loud. For top speed, the one that everyone cares about, um, I think that it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Maybe a half a mile, quarter of a mile an hour, it matters. I was wearing a heavy jacket in the very last run I did in this video, uh, and so that might have affected it by that little bit. We were still flickering on 75, but I mean, some flickered a couple more times than the other runs. It is what it is. I think they're a complete toss up performance wise in that area. Um, the only thing that oil change did was made it smoother. All the action, uh, the clutch and everything was smoother. It was smoother going off the stoplight into first gear. Um, so definitely want to change the oil regularly. Um, that definitely helps in that filter. You saw how gross that filter was just from me riding it 400 and what, like 60 miles, something like that. So um, definitely get your 600 mile checkup with Honda and all that kind of stuff. Other than that, that's it, man. That's how it racks up. Get rid of all this other crap that you don't need on there, like a fender and all that, and uh, keep tuned. We'll, we're doing a bunch of more videos on three-wheelers, scooters, you name it. And of course, the ground.